guys, Capri Friends, welcome back to my channel. Virginia here, and I'm back with a new Christmas layout. Um, for this uh, project, I used the beautiful cut files um, from Handy Paper, which is um, an Etsy shop. And I'm using two different cut files, this beautiful and intricate tree, um, and also some snowflakes, which are actually called ornaments, um, Christmas ornaments. So first of all, I'm baking uh, the tree uh, with this uh, pattern paper from Create Paper, this uh, pink, uh, pink polka dots on red uh, background. Mm, uh, apart from uh, this uh, pattern paper, all the rest of the items of the supplies that I'm using for this uh, project are uh, by Pink Fresh Studio from different collections. I will tell you uh, while I explain you the process. Um, so I cut uh, the, the paper and now I'm going to glue uh, the cut file to the paper with a simple uh, white uh, glue. And I'm actually not putting the glue everywhere, uh, but only behind, behind the border and in the big, uh, behind the, the big white region of, the, of this intricate, beautiful uh, cut file. And then I'm, uh, I'm taking away uh, some excess of glue because I always come up a little bit and uh, refining the border. So now my tree is ready. And for the uh, background, I want to use uh, this uh, lovely, beautiful um, pattern paper uh, by Pink Fresh Studio. It's part of the of this year or the um, collect Christmas collection of this year, which is called Holiday Holiday Vibes. And uh, this is the picture I'm going to use of my mother and me. Um, I want to use one of these uh, um, awesome uh, frames, clipboard frames. These are from the collection BU uh, by Pink Fresh Studio. And in particular, this pink one, because in the Holiday Vibes collection, there are actually uh, little pops of pink. Um, so I think it goes very well with, um, with the palette of that collection. Um, and at first uh, I thought I wanted also to back my picture, uh, but then I, f I had the feeling that that pattern paper was a bit too busy. Um, and also since uh, the, fra the picture is not uh, fitting completely the frame, um, and I'm a bit annoyed <laughs> by this, um, I decided to go completely offset or better to turn completely um, the, the, the frame. And I think that in the end is a good choice because it really attract more the attention towards the, um, the picture. Now, before committing and gluing down stuff, uh, I'm going to do some fussy cut. I love fussy cutting, and this is a beautiful um, pattern paper, um, again from the same collection, Holiday Vibes by Pink Fresh Studio. And there are lots of icons, so I cut some of them, in particular the little presents, the packets, um, and some other icons. Now I'm starting to uh, glue down uh, some of the elements. First of all, the tree. I'm using and this is foam because I want it uh, to have some uh, dimension and I'm placing it on the left side of my, of my um, uh, background. Um, and then I will um, adhere uh, the packets, the presents uh, that I have fussy cut from uh, the pattern paper that we saw before. Now it's time to uh, adhere the pictures. Again, I'm not completely convinced of the position, but now <laughs> finally I'm committing. So I stack it below um, the tree and I also cut uh, the, uh, the part on the uh, right side that was uh, sticking out of the frame. And I also added a, um, a beautiful tag. This is uh, from the um, Christmas collection by Pink Fresh Studio of last year, which was called uh, uh, December days and there's uh, this sparkle word in uh, gold which is very in gold foil which is very nice and now finally I'm adhering uh, the chipboard frame and uh, I think that finally it turned out very uh, very well uh, I think that this way it is uh, putting it uh, in this uh, uh, crooked position actually gives more interest and makes the picture uh, pop up more 
Um, now I want to bake also the, the snowflakes, but actually I'm not baking completely them. I want to leave some, some part empty. Uh, so I'm going to bake only the, uh, the, the middle area. That's why I'm cutting the paper with my, uh, with my knife. And uh, you will see in a minute what, uh, what I mean. Here it is. So the, the outside border and the center are going to be empty. And I did the same for the three snowflakes. And I want to, uh, to put them on the uh, right, um, right corner right top corner and uh, I'm uh, gluing them down with um, uh, foam squares and I'm putting foam squares also in the center because as you will see in a minute I am going to cover actually the center because I want to add an extra detail an extra accent uh, in the center of the um, of the snowflakes and I'm using um, a form of different thickness because I want um, more variations um, this way the uh, the three snowflakes have different heights and I think this adds some uh, some extra interest also since the uh, the pattern uh, the um, the background is quite busy since it's a pattern paper I want also to create more uh, dimension more two dimensionality to, um, to make the various elements uh, pop up of the page. Um, so as I told you, I'm, I was, I'm going to add some elements in the center of these snowflakes and these are, are um, fantastic uh, wooden flower patterns uh, which uh, were include, included in the Christmas collection by Pink Fresh Studio of last year. And uh, they coordinate perfectly with this year collection as well. At first I was gluing them um, with their um, foam, they have a little bit of foam on the back, uh, but then I decided to peel it off because I don't need this extra dimension, I already have quite um, dimension, dimensional elements in my, in my uh, layout. I added a snowflake also, a snowflake also on top of my tree and, uh, and I will add more uh, more of these uh, wooden flare buttons in a minute. I also uh, pull out some um, of the wood veneers of the Indigo Hills 2 collection and I took this uh, wood veneer, blue wood veneer that says love you. Um, and now I'm gluing down uh, some of the three bubbles that I cut out from the same paper from which I cut the presents, the packets. As I told uh, you, I'm adding more uh, of these uh, wooden flare buttons because uh, I think they had really uh, uh, some interest and extra pop of color, so they are really, they're really nice. Now it's time to add the title. I'm using this uh, Puffy Alpha from the uh, Indigo Hills, Hills 2 um, collection and in particular I'm using the mint one and the coral one. These are very beautiful colors and I'm also adding a few uh, tile letters uh, to, to form the word for because my title is going to be Home for Christmas. And um, these are uh, um, golden foil on a white background. Um, this title is very uh, easy, simple, let's say, but it's really uh, related to my picture because um, I don't live in the same town as my parents and my brother and sister. Um, so we are spread around. So um, Christmas is really an occasion for uh, the whole family uh, to get together um, and we spend a lot of time together. And this is really nice, it's really important for me because I love my family, I love spend time with them. And actually my journaling, journaling will be about this, the fact that for me Christmas is all about family. And I'm going to write my journal um, with, uh, with a white gel pen, you will see in a minute. Here it is, all around uh, the title. Now the layout is basically finished, but um, I'm just adding a final touch uh, with these uh, white enamel dots that are included as well in the Indigo Hills 2 collection. And uh, this is just uh, a last uh, pop of white. 
de las touch. So here my layout is finished. I hope you liked it. If you like my video, please give me a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, please also leave me a co some comments. I will be happy to reply. And I would also like to know what kind of video would like to, to see more process video or, or what kind of projects. And also if you prefer me to explain to you uh, the process or rather talk a little bit about uh, um, myself, about the pictures or I don't know, whatever. Please let me know. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.